every single training session and every pre-season match the players wear their GPS units and their heart rate monitors and that just gives us an idea of the physical demands of the sessions with the aim of pre-season being that the physical demands go up as you get towards the season so that the lads get fitter which would mean that their time spent at a high heart rate would be lower the fitter that they get. moment we're tracking every single session live which means for every player every single second we get a piece of data through and um, whether that's the speed they're traveling or and that accumulates over the session so every second my iPad refreshes with how much distance they've covered how much high speed running and then depending on the type of session it depends on what metrics we look to overload so as they're going through the sprints I can see on the iPad what speeds they're reaching and then the manager comes over the players come over check where they're at go again see if they can beat that speed see if they can beat each other Everything that they do gets compared to a game, so we can see how well training is preparing them for those match demands. We're also looking at how this pre-season compares to last year and the season before. We've obviously had three different managers in that time, so how the different training styles affect the players, affect fitness levels, really to see like if we can push certain players a little bit further, particularly at the moment for the lads that have come in late to pre-season, so like Prousey, Nathan and Jan came in late as well. So they've had less time training than the others. So now it's about making sure they're gradually introduced to the new training regime, but also that they're topped up to the same level. So we make the training really individual for them, but it's the same for everyone. So everyone has different demands within their position, um, depending on who the player is, their past injury, how many games they've played recently. Everyone trains different amounts. These coaches and managers, like, they really buy into the numbers. They'll pull out players that aren't quite putting a shift in training, or they'll congratulate the players that have worked the hardest, um, hit the highest speed or whatever it is in that session that they're looking for. So there really is no place to hide now.